Welcome back to the last section, 16.2, Solving Exponential Equations. In Explain 1, we're going to go over how to solve exponential equations algebraically. So here you see 10 equals 5e to the 4x power. Okay, first things first, we're going to try and get e, which is our natural log, by itself. And, but there's a 5 being multiplied. What's the opposite of multiplying? Dividing, just like it says here. So we're going to divide, and what's 10 divided by 5? Mm -mm. 2. And that would cancel out, and I'm left with e 4 to the 4x power. Okay, so we're going to rewrite this in logarithmic form. All right, so let's go ahead and go over what that would look like. So remember we learned about um, opposite of adding is subtracting. Opposite of multiplying is dividing. Opposite of squaring something is square rooting. And opposite of log is raising something to the 10th power, or 10 base raising something to that power. Um, another thing is um, opposite of natural log would be ln. So the way we can get rid of this e is by writing ln e to the 4x power and ln 2. What this is going to do is this is going to cancel this out and I'm left with 4 to, uh, 4x, sorry, 4x, still wanted to make it an exponent, I don't know why, 4x equals ln2. Alright, last but not least, we want to get x by itself, so what's the opposite of multiplying by 4? Dividing. Now I know what you're thinking, this is not simplified. What is this as an actual number? So we're going to use our Desmos calculator to kind of figure out what ln2 divided by 4 is. Alright, so let's do that right now. Alright, so here's our Desmo scientific calculator. So let's go ahead and go to function. Let's find ln. Go back to main and write 2 parentheses divided by 4. And that would be about 0 0.132. So let's go ahead and write this in here. That would be x equals about 0 0.173. Cool. All right. Let's move it right along to letter B. Let's solve for this one. So here's our original equation. 5 to the x power minus 4 plus 7. Well, I want to get rid of this minus 4 first before I even deal with that 5 to the x power. What's the opposite of minusing 4? Adding 4. So we're going to add 4 to both sides. This is going to cancel out. What's 4 take away 4? 0. 7 plus 4 is 11. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take um, the log of this. So we're going to take, uh, just like we learned, um, you know, opposite of adding is subtracting, opposite of multiplying is dividing, opposite of um, raising something to the e power is our ln, and opposite of um, a number raised to a power is going to be log. Okay, so we're going to log both sides. So log 5 at, to the x power equals log of 11. All right. Um, so for this one, it says power of a property logarithm. So you notice how I'm just recopying the right side. Okay. And you're like, what do I put on the other side? Well, for this one, we can actually write this so that x kind of comes off down the exponent's place and comes up right front and center. We'll write log 5. All right. I still want to get x by itself. That's the goal. But there's this log 5 now that's being multiplied. What's the opposite of multiplying? Dividing. So we're going to divide both sides. 
by log 5. Anything divided by itself is 1. So I'm left with x equals log 11 and log 5. Let's go ahead and work this out. Again, using our decimals calculator. So let's do that. All right, that would be log 11 divided by log 5. All right, and that'd be about 1.489. So let's go ahead and write that here. That would be about 1.489 and decimal places, which I kind of already did already. So uh, we already rounded that. Um, just like it says here on your packet and now at the bottom of the screen, it says do stop, do the problems in your packet. Go ahead and do um, those from explain one. Okay, and we'll come back with explain two in just a moment.